Welcome back to the action. Our seventh obstacle for the day is sponsored by Yokohama. Staring against a very steep incline. Barry Chapman puts foot to make it up, striking a banner in the process. Drivers must now make a sharp left turn. Deciding it's better to take a rollback. Losing 10 points for that with the minus on the banner puts him on 30 points thus far. Faced with a very steep slope, the banner had been placed to force the driver to put his wheel on the rock. From the front we can see how steep this is. Still in trouble, Barry decides to climb over that banner. He takes a roll back to line up. Barry makes it through but is out of points. Giving up an awesome display as he jumps up the incline. Taking out that banner and giving the marshal a little exercise. Coming around nicely, Nico takes another angle when facing the slope. This is a gamble as he can easily topple over. Nico maintains perfect control and misses the banner, only losing 20 points. Nico adds 40 points to his tally. Brent Law striking a banner on the way up. Takes a long roll back to line up for the next gate. Resting on very loose sand. He spins out grabbing traction, he progresses. Remember this class has no diff locks. Making this kind of situation quite difficult. Taking an even more extreme angle than Nico. Looking very impressive from the front. His suspension working very hard. He makes it out in good fashion. 30 points to them. Having a good day. Their lead still safe for the number one spot. Missing the banner on the incline. Takes a roll back. Moving carefully through the banners. Just look at the articulation on those diffs. Showing why he is in pole position. Rory takes 50 points. Next up, Bruce and Linton. Also missing the banner as they head up. Well, 
squeezing past the banner. This is one of those obstacles where it's better to be later in line and you can learn from the other's mistakes. Heading down the slope at an angle, taking their time. Very careful to make their way down. Playing it safe. Bruce and Linton taking 50 points on this one. Retiring number one, Andrew Williams sets out. Making this incline look easy. He attempts a different strategy. Choosing to spin around instead of losing points by taking a rollback. Very slowly, sliding down with perfect control. First competitor to complete this one with full points. Excellent, Andrew. This was his first year in his new vehicle, and it's been a good one. He attempts the same strategy as Andrew. Notice how deflated his tires are. This is a technique used by drivers to gain more traction. In situations where tire pressure is insufficient to hold the bead of the tire in place, a bead lock is used to ensure the tire doesn't come off the rim. Just, just missing that banner as he makes it around. Coming down the slope. Sharp turn there. Always dangerous. If the front wheel locks up, you'll easily find yourself on your side. Well done. Pulling away, Michael Hudson grabs some air. Handling it very well. Avoiding the banner. He tries to spin around, but connects a banner. That's it. His angle of descent is very skew. He decides to roll back and not head over the banner. At a very difficult angle, Michael has a tough descent ahead of him. He comes down a bit quicker to slim down his chances of rolling. A good job indeed. Michael takes home 30 points. That brings us to our last obstacle for 2011. Sponsored by Turn 1. Still with the modified class. 
Oh, it's been fun. I mean, we didn't do the last one, so we're back in the racing, and it's good fun. Yeah. Okay. The competition comes down to this. The scores are separated by a razor's edge. The tiniest slip can cost any of them the championship. Still with the modified class, Nico Ferri pulls away in a fury of spinning tires. He strikes a banner at that angle. Stuck, he takes a roll back. Second attempt, he pulls away with a bit more speed. And out he goes. We follow Brent Law, who decides to take another route and avoid the banner Nico had trouble with. He takes a roll back to the line back up. His plan not working out as he had hoped. Great score across the banner, adding 30 points to his tally. Rory and David Flint showing us what they are made of. Taking the same route as Brett, through the first gate, he takes a roll back. He lines up for the exit, pulling away, fighting to make it up there. His rear tire strikes that pesky banner, because with that display, Rory takes his place as South Africa's number one for 2011. That takes us to the final results of the year. Let's see how the other drivers did. In the super modified class, top of the charts, Lucas and Honey Holzhausen with 312 points. In second, Johan Backer and Anneli Moritz on 247. Just behind them in third, Hesma and Karin Swart on 237 points. In the production modified class, first place belonged to Hanku Swart and Tals Pierce on 375 points. In second, Leon Goos and Tart van der Waals on 365, and in third, Stefan Heffer and Johan Palm on 304. In the modified class, number one, Rory and David Flett on 381 points. Just behind them in second place, Brett Law and Caitlin Miller on 376. And in third, Nico Furry and Dirk Schleerbusch on 355 points. In the street legal locker class, first place belonging to Rolf Kruger flying solo on 476 points. Second, Michiel Oberholzer also solo at 380. And in third, Mike Wanless and Bram Reed on 103 points. In the standard class, with a monumental lead on the rest, in first place, Stefan and Nanette Winterswoven with 602 points. In second, Pierre and Marguerite Lundmann on 448. And in third, David Machale and Hendrik Motlabane on 370 points. Then in the open class in first, Dion van Vestesen and Angie van Vestesen on 579 points. A razor's edge behind them in second, Pierre Janssen van Rensburg and Petru Janssen van Rensburg on 576 points. And in third, Hermann Barnard and Mandy Reid closing up the rear. Lastly, the top 10 as they stand at the end of this event. Drivers. In first place, Rory Flett, 242 points. Second, Hanku Swart, 233.5. Third, Leon Hoes on 228.5. Fourth, Brent Law on 222. Fifth, Andrew Williams on 206. Sixth, Lucas Holzhausen on 198. Seventh, Kurs van Yerden on 179. In eighth, Ernst Dupre on 166 points. Ninth, belonged to Hesma Swart on 159 points. And in tenth, Rolf Kruger on 155. And on the co-driver's side, in first place, David Flett on 242 points. Second, Charles Pierce on 233.5. In third, Anneli Moritz on 229. Fourth, Chart van der Vault on 228.5. Fifth, Caitlin Miller on 222. Sixth, Werner Faree on 206. Seventh, Honey Holtzhausen on 198. Eighth place, Carl van Heerden on 166. In ninth, Fanny Wersthausen also on 166. And in tenth, Kareem Swart on 159 points. 
What an explosive day at the finals of the Maxis National 4x4 Challenge 2011. Thank you to Maxis, our broadcast sponsor, for a spectacular year. Catch us again in 2012 when a new category will be introduced into the sport, Formula Off-Road. 2012 promises to be a spectacular year as the drivers battle it out for the top spot, so don't miss it. To stay up to date, visit the webpage www.4x4challenge.co.za or like us on Facebook, 4x4 Adventure Videos. Catch you again next time for more 4x4 action. This program was proudly brought to you by Maxis.